Today I want to show you how to install a conversion tag on a thank you page using Google Tag Manager for Google AdWords. So we have a client here that wants to run a Google search campaign that's going to target people who are interested in uh, finding a, a private school for their child. Um, all of the ads will link to this virtual tour um, open house landing page where the parent can fill out this information, submit, and then receive a uh, uh, information packet by mail. So again, the goal is send people here, get them to fill this form out, and then they are served a thank you page um, that tells them that their admissions packet is on the way. And to measure the effectiveness of their um, advertising campaign, we want to tag this page so that we know how many times their keywords registered a conversion in Google Ads. So the first thing we're going to do, there's two ways to do this now. The, the um, One way is to fire a trigger on the click of this submit button and the second way is to fire a trigger when this URL um, fires. So we're going to do it off of the thank you page URL in this example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a trigger in Google Tag Manager for this. So I just highlight this thank you, the, the thank you bit of the URL here, and I'm going to basically tell Google AdWords that if this URL fires from one of our advertisements, that's considered a conversion. So go to Google Tag Manager here. I have the account. First things first, how do we know that Google Tag Manager is even installed on this page? We have the Google Tag Assistant here that shows us Google Tag Manager, um, last three digits, NVQ. I go into Tag Manager, I find NVQ, this is this tag, here's all the tags that we have installed on this page. As you can see there's a, there's a handful of them, and then you can see they're firing triggers. What's the difference between tags and triggers? The tag is the actual conversion tag from Google AdWords or from Facebook or from whatever advertising platform that you're running on. You're going to install it on the website in tags, and then you're going to tell that tag when to fire based on these different triggers. So for instance, um, this Google AdWords tag will fire every time one of these pages is viewed. So um, same thing here, this thank you page here will fire a, will fire this tag every time this slash request admissions page is viewed as well. So we're going to set up our trigger first and then we'll set up our tag. So I'm going to name this trigger, I usually name it um, virtual tour, let's see, virtual tour 2020 virtual tour 2020 landing page view. So this just tells me that this virtual tour, I'm going to put some internal notes in here as well. So I know which, uh, this is just for my organizational purposes, so I know which insertion order, this uh, which campaign this is tied to. So um, virtual tour 2020 landing page view, trigger configuration, I'm going to do a page view because I only want a specific page view. I'm going to select some page views and then this is going to tell me how it is that I can um, identify that. So I'm going to do it by page URL. These are all different ways of identifying an action. Um, the most common ones we use are going to be some of these in the click if we're targeting the button click. Um, but for a page URL, we simply use page URL and I put contains. Um, there's all these different options here. You're either going to do contains or equals. I usually just do contains, and then I grab that last half of this. And so this is set up. Click Save. And now I have that trigger installed on that page. I'm going to come into AdWords. I'll back up here for you. I get into my AdWords account. I come into Conversions. I want to create a new conversion that happens here. So select here. The conversion takes place on a website category is going to be submit a lead form because it's the submission of this lead form um, again uh, just make some notes here and name this so you know what it is um, so for values here, I usually use the same value for each conversion, um, and I typically just do like a you know ten bucks. It depends on what 
um, the client is selling, how much this lead is worth to them. Uh, I mean, this this probably could be more than ten dollars. This isn't information that we necessarily share with the client, just because it's it's really only for conversion purposes. Um, I believe that if you assign a conversion value, it helps Google understand um, the value of a conversion uh, versus not having a conversion value here. If we were selling a product on an e-commerce site, we would use a different value for each conversion. But in this case, you can do you know ten dollars or a hundred dollars, whatever it is you think a conversion is worth to the client. Um, rule of thumb I would probably stick to is that maybe the more expensive the product is, the higher that you assign um, each conversion value. So, for instance, if you were gathering leads for a Ferrari dealership, um, the amount of money one of those cars is worth is quite significant. So if you can generate a lead for them, they'd probably be willing to pay several hundred dollars or several thousand dollars for a lead for that. For a, a private school, I just kind of use my standard um, $10 range here. But again, that's, that's just subjective to whatever it is that you're doing. Um, we count one for each conversion, and so that's going to do is if somebody say comes here and they you know uh, they do this option, they put in their name, they you know put in their email, and they don't make a selection here, they hit submit. This form isn't going to allow them to move to the thank you page. It's going to say um, you have to you know enter this information as well and hit submit again. If we were tracking conversions on button clicks and we were tracking every conversion, then that double submit button would count as two conversions when it's really not. It's really one conversion. And then the same thing for these thank you page um, views here. If somebody gets to this page and then let's say they, you know, for whatever reason hit refresh and it fires again, um, that's not really a second conversion. It's really only one conversion. So we do count one. We would count every conversion again if this was a e-commerce campaign, somebody who's making a sale on their website, because every sale is important, um, every sale is a conversion, we would count every then, and it, it kind of lays that out for you here. Um, we do the standard 30-day click, one-day view, including conversions, attribution model. Um, the one I use the most is time decay, and the, the difference between all these, there's several differences. Last click, I believe they're phasing this one out, um, but this basically attributes the credit to the keyword based on the last click. So if somebody searches for a couple of the keywords that you're bidding on, they click on a few of them, and then let's say they convert on the, on the last one, obviously, it's only going to give credit to that last keyword that was clicked, or the last ad that was clicked. Um, time Decay weights it over time, so the closer to the conversion taking place, the more credit that ad and keyword um, receive. So I do like Time Decay because I think it kind of gives you more of a global view on how sometimes your keywords work together. Again, not everybody um, converts on the first search, so it is, I think, sometimes valuable information to have. We do continue. We're going to install using the Google Tag Manager. If you work with a developer, you can send it to them this way. Um, if you are installing it, if you're hard coding it into the website yourself, you can do it this way. But we're going to use Tag Manager, and all we do is we're just going to select and copy this conversion ID, come back to Tag Manager, go to Tags, and we're going to create this tag. So the tag configuration is going to be Google Ads Conversion Tracking. And then we paste in that conversion ID here. We come back and we get the conversion label. And essentially what this number is, is this tells Google which ad account to send your information to. And then this tells Google which specific conversion action to send the information to. I leave the rest of it, the rest of it blank. Um, and so it basically will look just like that. So this is now you've installed, or you haven't 100% installed, but you've set up the tag configuration in Google Ads for that specific conversion. And then the triggering event is going to be, again, when this page is viewed. Um, and then you hit save. And then to make it live, you hit submit, publish, skip. Come back to the workspace. And what we can do is we can test this out. Don't forget to hit next and finish here. Done. Okay, so you can see this is the conversion event that we just set up um, for our insertion order for this campaign that we're going to be running. It says unverified. It will say that for a couple of hours. Um, we're going to, the way that you can change this to being no recent conversions is we're actually going to test and fire this conversion right now. 
So we come back to Google Tag Manager, click the preview button. Now we're in preview mode. So if we go back to this landing page, do a hard refresh, it'll pull up the Tag Manager and it'll show you all the different tags that have fired on this page. So we have our Google Analytics that's going to fire on every page, our retargeting tag, um, our Facebook Pixel, call tracking, call extension. And then these are the tags that aren't fired. And again, these are all these events we've installed for other campaigns and previously. And we can see here um, our 2020 virtual tour tag has not fired because they have not landed on this page. So we can do a test checkout. to have all our information filled out and we're going to submit. And you can see again tags fired on this page are all the tags that fire on every page and our 2020 virtual tour conversion tag fired on this page as well because it's targeting this virtual tour 2020 thank you submission. So that's basically it. All the tags that didn't fire from the other campaigns that we set up and that's essentially how it is that we would uh, set up a conversion tracking using Google Tag Manager targeting a thank you page URL.